Hello everyone, welcome to another segment of Former Drain Tech Talk. I'm Randy Cornett, Install and Training Manager for Former Drain. Thanks for joining us today. If you're a Former Drain customer, we as always appreciate your business. If you're new to Former Drain, Platinum, or Certiform Ultraflex, and you have more questions, you can find us on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, or our website, formerdrainsolutions.com. So today we're going to be talking about Platinum Waterproofing Membrane and some of the different ways that you can install this product as far as fastening. So there are three different ways. A lot of people aren't aware of this. They only know of one way or the other. They might not have heard that there are other options out there, some more cost effective, some more user friendly. So quickly, we're just going to introduce you to those three systems. This is a clip system. This is simply rolling the membrane out, fastening it with our speed clips, which as you can see, have a dimpled pattern on the back side to correlate with the nipples on the board. Snaps in real quick and easy. You shoot a nail, you're good to go. You're gonna want those at 12 inches on center. And then about halfway down the wall, you're gonna to wanna to run another row about 24 inches on center. Uh, the second option is the platinum speed strip, which is probably the most costly of, of the three options um, and not really the most efficient to be quite honest. You've got some kind of half partial dimples here on the back side that lock into the dimples like the clip, but it's a little harder to find the dimple when you're out on the job site, reaching above your head, trying to get things lined up. Once you do get it lined up, shoot it in there and you're good to go. Other than another step, you have to come back and cut off the excess material from the top. So the difference between these two systems Cost, a little cheaper, a little more expensive, and the clip fasteners, it's required to come back and caulk behind the termination edge with a butyl caulk based caulk. Um, this can be a hassle. That's an extra thing you have to remember to the job site. You gotta you know, count on the guys who are gonna install it right, not be sloppy with it, make it look awful. So those are the downsides of that. Now we're gonna talk about my favorite way to install platinum, and it's, and it's utilizing the clips to, for the fastening. So you're gonna go every 12 inches on center like normal, halfway down the wall, 24 inches on center. But then we have the platinum molding strip. Platinum molding strip is nice and rigid. You can see it's got a nice leg on it that seals against the concrete once it laps over the platinum membrane. Um, very lightweight, easy to carry, easy to handle, um, very cost effective. And once you've mounted your clips on, you simply come back with the platinum strip and actually, I'm going to show you here real quick how easy it is to clip and locate. So hopefully you can see this fine. Just simply align the platinum molding along the top edge of the clips. Give it a shot with your nailer. Hopefully your nailer works. There we go. And just work your way down, keeping it nice and tight and along the top edge of that strip. And now your top edge is sealed, no caulking required. The other thing about molding is when you use one of these other systems, you still have to have molding on site for you using along termination edges. Or if you have a walkout, a change in grade, you have to cut the termination strip off then you use the molding strip to seal that edge up as well. So I kind of showed you an example here of an end termination, the top installation. One more tip I have for you today is cutting. A lot of guys have tried to take razor knives out, cut this, dull the blades, break the blades, cut themselves. A pair of 10 snips. Makes it easy as pop. Snip right through it, cut it nice and easy. You're good to go. So uh, hopefully these tips help you today. Um, like I said, reach out to us anytime on any of our social media platforms. Again, my name's Randy. Feel free to reach out to me at the email or number below. And thank you and have a great day.